Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Northwick. It is actually morning for once. Normally when I say good morning it's mid-afternoon, but no, it is the morning. Bright and early. Ish. And um today we are helping Rex weigh the lambs on the assist project. So we've come over to get set up. He's on his way with a weigh crush. And we're also being helped today by Mac, my Labrador. Hey Mac, sit down. Say hello. Well, yeah, he doesn't speak very much, but that's today's plan anyway. So this is the uh, handling system we got here. Not quite sure how it works because I've never been here when they've weighed the lambs, but um, got to slot the crush in somewhere. Rex is pretty well here, so we'll uh, put the camera down and help him set up. First sheep of the day on their way in. Come on, lambs. It's a bit damp. Yeah, you've done zero point ten as well. I think you can go. He gone. Go on, sheep. There you go. There you go. So we've weighed the first three lots. I think there's 12 lots to weigh in total. But um, doesn't take very long at all to weigh them. It's just we've got to keep running them all the way to the handling at the end of the lane every time to weigh them. And like, I don't know, we're not even halfway up the lane that way yet. And some of them are in behind electric fences, and some of them aren't. And it takes longer getting them out of the field than it does getting them through the way crate but Rex is bringing the next lot back up a minute what's going on <coughs> walk out then walk out are they likely to bolt through this gap again they might do they might hey 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 go get off back Plenty heavy enough. Yeah, we got there's no question about the weight, but they have got the finish. Oh. Plenty of frame but not much fat. Yeah. 
people like me. Just about get my hand around it, yeah. Yeah, plenty of meat there, so. Off the tool, where you go. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> there you are. Find that needs the right way, one hand. back where you come from. You will go in that way. Nice one. Oh, the sun's decided to make an appearance. Dog's getting fairly tired, made him run up the track. Have to give him a rest now. And try and get these lambs back in. This is the fifth lot we've done, seven more lots to go. Look at that, lovely blue sky. When you look that way, that's probably got a lot of water in it. What do you think, Mac? So, my dog's decided. He's had enough of running and he's currently sat on the back of the quad bike with Rex, the lazy sod. Go up there and give him a hand because go get some through some sheep through some fences. So we'll go see if we can be of assistance. Looks pretty bony where your hands are descending into that wall. Yeah he is, but there is some meat there. Hello, buddy. Where's all the sheep? Right. The sheep that we're weighing, or the lambs that we're weighing, um, on all these different plots, um, some of them are on cell grazing, which the ones that we're putting back now are. So their fence is moved on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday. The guys across the lane there that we're getting next, they're on cell grazing, so they're behind a fence. And then there's three paddocks where they're set stock, so you've got the whole um, the whole paddock. To graze. Right, sheep. Raise your hoofs if you are over 40 kilos and or fit to go. No, no takers. This is the one I was thinking. Yeah, no, he looks chunky. He's not overly heavy. He's just square. He's 3.5 at the moment, but ah, 43 and a half. Are we going to be surprised? What do you think? From my novice. I felt thinner once today. Not great. Yeah, he isn't great. His dock lets him down quite badly. You know, he's getting there. He's going to be next time. He's going to be definitely next time, yeah. Just in front of the, where their hips go down. Yeah, what I would call the saddle or, or the loin. But I mean, all along there. I mean, if you went all along there, you'd feel that that's very sticky uppy. Mm. But if you particularly there, you see how your hand rocks like yeah. that, and you can, if you were to cut that in half, it would kind of look like that. Yeah. Whereas you want it to look like that. And if you feel the dock. Feel that dock, you can feel all those vertebrae quite easily, yeah. can't you? But it's still got a fat one, you've got to put a bit of pressure on it to feel it. No good. You could do better than so much more report. Let the side down there. Cool. I must say, I had a wonderful lunch. Really hit the spot today. There's some sweet and sour leftovers. So thank you, Abby, for that. 
I'm pretty sure I'm not speaking out of term when I say I should be obese. The amount of food I eat, but there you are. He's off. Stan! Tom! Tom! Stan! Hey! Stan! Tom! Bo, walk up, walk up, Bo! Come on, Well, I mean, the end result is... Yeah, it's, it's a 4 out of 10. <laughs> it's a 4 out of 10. <laughs> Tom's giving up no, his life down. Oh, I can't say joking, come on. <laughs> well done, Bo. Well done, Tom. Hi. Hey, hey. How many sheep have you got today? Hey? Yes. Oh. Yes. So this little porker is 49 kilos. No, even at 49 kilos. So he's not stay. fit, so. Out you go, buddy. Push this one forward. Um, one at a time. Let the weight stabilise. Little red light comes on. 43 and a half kilos. Just not quite there. Not quite there. So this is the design of the plot system here. Here are the 12 plots. So if you look at the key here, um, green outline are cell grazing, so they're the ones with the fences, and orange are continuous stocking, so there's half and half. So we are we got one lot left, so we just got this one here left, number seven. So they've got a, a fence. And then if you look over here, there's another key. So Agritech, if you can read that. Uh, reseed with a mix of highly digestible fibre cultivars and there's nature based reseeded with grasses 22 different species and then there's permanent pasture so those are also on here they are also split into um, undrained and drained so there's one of each for each variety if that makes sense so anything with dots is undrained anything without dots is drained so then each um, cell grazing drained will have an agri-tech, um, a nature base, and a permanent pasture variety of grass in them, as will the undrained um, continuous stocking, you know, agri-tech, nature based, permanent pasture. So it's trying to collect all that data from those different varieties of grasses and whether drainage has an issue, uh, whether drainage has a bearing on it or not as well, and how it's stocked. So I thought that was quite interesting, so I thought you guys might find that quite interesting. Right, Mac, no lying down on the job. Got one lot left. What are you doing? You lie there, eh? Here comes main dog, Bo. Oh, hi, Bo. Oh, hello. You get the sheep? Where are they? Oh, I don't know, you've come alive, look. Pet another dog. <laughs> Beside the race here with the red dots on the reds. They are over 40 kilos and on the right condition, they're fit to go. So they will go to the abattoir um, either the end of this week or early next week. I think there's 27, there might be 29. Count. So, as I was saying, there's 33 <laughs> in that group. So, if there's another four or five out the last group we're doing here, that would be spot on. What do you reckon he weighs? Um, I um, I'd say about 22.3, something like that. He's 30.5. Yeah. I thought he was about 30 kilos. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than that, but he's not a fat man, he's about right condition. Good on then, mate. Come on. Good boy. Well done. He's a run in the grass. He's got dirty feet. So, last 
last job of the day is to run the fat lambs into a paddock so that they can be easily collected when we want to take them um, to the abattoir at the end of the week. Sit down, mate. Good boy. Get up. guys okay? You're still recording. You had a nasty fall. Oh, you landed on the mic. Wow. Oh, that's good. good old microphone, that's what it's there for. I apologise for the fall. Bad driving. I think we'll hold on to you now. So, we finished weighing the lambs. Mac was complaining that he's hungry, so we're off home to get our dinner. Aren't we, Mac? Dinner time. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Something a bit different with the sheep. If you enjoyed it, then uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments to reply to down below. And uh, if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll see you on another video very soon.